How's it going guys? Let me introduce to you my new to me uh, Ford F-150. Now, this car is amazing. I officially got it two days ago and um, this was my daily driver before that, the uh, 2001 Ford Mustang GT. And uh, although I am keeping this car, it has been amazing. Um, but it is getting retired to weekend duties because it is just, it's not convenient. It's stick shift, um, road trips, it's not really a road trip car, it's an old car, it's 21 years old. Um, and it's been a blast to drive, but this, this bad boy right here, this is, this is so nice. Um, now let me tell you about a little bit about the car. I got the uh, STX package 4x4 and I was specifically looking for uh, four wheel drive. Let me get in here so I can uh, not melt away, but um, I was specifically looking for a car with four wheel drive and the V6 EcoBoost engine. Now this engine is a beast. So when I was shopping for F-150s, I was, uh, I was, I originally actually wanted to get a automatic Mustang, like a 2016, 2017. And then I was like, wait, the F-150s have the same Coyote 5.0 engine as the, uh, as the Mustang. So I'm like, let me look at those. That's a lot more convenient, a lot more spacious. You can do the same modifications to it. You can make them pretty quick. Um, and then I started looking into the V6 EcoBoost. Now this engine is a beast. You can get some tunes and uh, easily make 500 horsepower out of this V6 EcoBoost engine. And yeah, you can do the same thing with a Coyote uh, 5.0, but you can just, with tunes, a bigger intercooler, um, and just supporting modifications, and the 4x4, this car is insane. Like, traction is gonna be amazing. Once it's tuned and, you know, everything is turned up, on the uh, boost and all that stuff like this car is going to be a beast so i have a lot of plans for this car right now it is bone bone stock i just got this car it is a 2018 it has 43,000 miles and um it is bone stock but i have big plans for this car it is going to be fantastic so make sure to stay tuned because this car is going to be an absolute beast it's going to destroy the uh, 2001 Ford Mustang GT, it's gonna destroy the Mach-E. It is, this car is gonna be fast, it's gonna be a beast. So make sure to stay tuned for the build process. Um, but, so the reason I got this car, I wanted the four wheel drive, um, just because traction, if not, I don't wanna be on drag radios or anything like that, but traction with the four x four, it is amazing. Um, the V6 EcoBoost, that engine has so much tuning potential. Um, it's got the 10-speed automatic transmission. So this car is just, I, I mean, it's big, it's comfortable. Um, it's got everything, it checked all the boxes. So still keeping the Mustang, I want a stick shift car. It is, you know, it's it's a super fun car. It's nostalgic, you know, it's got the two-valve, two 4.6-liter V8. Um, it's a fun car, but this, as a daily driver, this is going to be a beast. Let me tell you, this is going to be a beast, but it is going to be a daily driver. So um, I wanted something a little bit more spacious, a little newer. Uh, so this car, I am super happy with it. Now, let me tell you guys a little story about this car. So I, I'm not going to rag on the dealership that I bought it from, but um, the dealership that I bought it from, I had originally looked at a car that was, uh, it was a commercial car, actually. It was like, you know, it had the, the little um, yellow strobe light signal things like when you know construction trucks and all that stuff so it was a white f-150 that was it had been used as a fleet vehicle at, at some sort of construction company or some sort of utility company something like that so um the car only had 65,000 miles and then uh i actually ended up purchasing the car i was driving away from this dealership and i start um scrolling through let me show you i started scrolling through like these uh you know the little uh uh things here on the dashboard and so what had happened was let me see if i can find it all right display mode okay so here it is so in display mode you go here to engine information you can actually see the engine hours and the engine idle hours so the white car that i was buying had i and I, my jaw literally dropped when i saw this it had 4,000 engine idle hours, but only 65,000 miles. So I started looking up like what are engine idle hours. And basically what happens is they, uh, they'll, 
the car will sit in idle like for example if it's a commercial car um it'll sit at a construction site and it'll be idling for hours on end and what that does is so i looked up the ford equivalent it's roughly i mean there's a couple different um calculations for it but basically every engine idle hour counts as 30 miles that's the equivalent on like wear and tear on the engine and that kind of stuff so the car that i actually purchased before this car had 4,000 idle engine hours um and what that means that translates so if you do 4,000 um times 30 miles um so basically it had the equivalent of 120,000 miles just on the idle hours and then on top of that it had the uh 65,000 miles so my lesson learned is always do your research when you're buying a car but always if it sounds too good to be true it probably is because that car had 65,000 miles it had a extremely good price it had the v6 ecoboost that i wanted it had four wheel drive but the engine idle hours really that engine was an engine that had the equivalent of like 185,000 miles so i would have gotten a car i would have paid a lot more for a car that had an engine that had wear on it of 185 thousand miles so i immediately drove back to the dealership and i was like i can't take this car like look at the engine idle hours so i actually ended up returning it that same day and i started looking and i was like no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna take a car let me just return this and i'm gonna fly back home i actually got a one-way flight to go pick up that car and then i started looking on the dealership website they had a couple different dealerships um and i found this car specifically it had a better trim level um, it had the V6 EcoBoost, it had the four-wheel drive, and then, so that's how I ended up with this car. I ended up paying a little bit more than I wanted to, but that's just the market nowadays. It's insane. Cars are still super expensive, so, um, but I am very happy with this car. It is bone stock, so I kind of want to walk you guys through the process of everything that I do to this car, um, just all the modifications and things, and just how tunable and easy it is to tune these v6 ecoboost engines and how much power you can make out of them it is absolutely absolutely insane so i am super excited for the build on this car um if you want to watch it make sure to subscribe and uh stay tuned because it is going to be amazing i am super excited for this car but there you guys have it um this is my new 2018 new to me 2018 uh ford f-150 uh 4x4 v6 ecoboost and i am so excited for this build thank you so much for watching there you have it and uh, i'll see you in the next video